So I'm going to make this quick video here. I'm not going to do a lot of editing again. Uh, it's just more to get uh, some information out there. So some of you may know I purchased a 50 watt fiber uh, laser machine. This is a Rakus power unit. Uh, again, it's 50 watt uh, unit. I did get this from a Chinese seller on eBay. Uh, the laser itself was actually sitting in California uh, when I bought it. So it only took a couple days to get here. Uh, something that was important to me, but uh, might not be to you. Uh, I won't go into the backstory of the seller right now and, and all that information, but if there's interest, I can make a video on that. Um, I'm really just making this video. Uh, there's a YouTube uh, user named Jeffrey J uh, that I've gotten a lot of inspiration from when I've been searching the internet for information on a laser. Uh, this file is one from him. I actually think I have... Uh, yep, this is his uh, YouTube uh, handle if you want to look him up. He's got some great content on a laser. Uh, I probably wouldn't uh, have purchased it if it wasn't for some of the information I saw from him that I couldn't find online. Uh, so this file that I downloaded here is the one I'm going to be uh, burning today. Uh, I'm doing this on a little piece of aluminum. Um, I'm going to light that just to show it real quick. It would help if the laser was on. Okay, so I'll light that real quick um, just so we can see that it's going to mostly fit. It looks like I may cut off a little bit of um, the text on the bottom, possibly, uh, but that's okay. This is uh, really just to see the differences. He has a 20-watt fiber laser, and this is a 50, uh, just kind of to see the differences. Uh, I am right now set up to use the 110-millimeter uh, uh, head. Um, eventually I'll do some uh, other testing with my 70 millimeter, 110, 150, and 200 millimeter lenses. That just happens to be the one that's in the machine right now, so I figured I'd do this quick video. So uh, you can see there is a slight mark on it already in the top left and in the center, or top right and in the center. Um, I was focusing the laser and I don't think it'll affect it that much, so I can always flip it over if it does and try it on the other side. Uh, this piece isn't perfectly flat, so I am going to try to use it on this side to do this test and then do the uh, depth test on the next side. Uh, but like I said, this is not ideal for uh, measuring depths, depths over on my granite surface plate because it's not a flat piece by any means. Um, but we'll see how it comes out. So uh, I'll get this set up and uh, we'll film this. Okay, now we're going to give the second file a shot, uh, just marking to uh, preset depths. Uh, again, I got this file from Jeffrey. I'll light it. It's going to mark right there, and we'll see how it goes. 